Hello, I'm Dr. Ken Landa. Let's talk about treating herpes simplex infections, either oral herpes or genital herpes. Let's talk about using Zovirax ointment. Question is, can you get rid of herpes by applying the Zovirax ointment? And the answer, surprisingly, is no. This medicine has been sold since 2011 by Valiant Pharmaceuticals. The FDA approval is for the initial management of genital herpes, genital herpes, or for non-life-threatening skin infection in immunocompromised hosts. In other words, people who have AIDS, people who are on cancer chemotherapy, not in otherwise healthy individuals. Herpes type 1 infects somewhere in excess of 100 million people in the United States. Probably 80% of us have the herpes somewhere lurking inside our body. Another 20% have genital herpes. But the number of people who develop episodes, clinically apparent episodes because of the herpes, is very small and only about 10% of the people going to have recurrent episodes. Originally it was thought that topical Zovirax worked very well. Now it's thought probably it doesn't really do that. As a matter of fact, there haven't been adequate studies to demonstrate that the drug really is beneficial. Supposedly it's going to decrease the healing time. Maybe it's going to decrease the duration of the viral shedding. Maybe it can decrease the time that people have pain. But that's only if you happen to be an otherwise impaired host. There's no evidence that it really works well in otherwise healthy people who have recurrent episodes, which is what most people use it for. There's no data supporting the use of the medicine to prevent infection of other people, and there's no evidence that it does anything if you don't happen to have any signs or symptoms of the disease. And as a matter of fact, an article published in Antimicrobial Agents Chemotherapy showed that the Zovirax topically didn't penetrate the skin very well. As a matter of fact, a different medicine called Pencyclovir did. The Zovirax came in not very well. And remember that the medicine is only approved for either the initial episode of genital herpes or for infection in people who have significant impairment in their immune system. Now the Journal of the Canadian Dental Association evaluated the medicine, the topical Zovirax, and they found that it really was no better as far as the clinical healing was concerned compared to a placebo. And the British medical journal BMJ clinical evidence said that after they evaluated the medicine, the studies showed that there were really inconsistent results, marginal clinical benefit, and the studies were of low quality. Well, in 2011, the Food and Drug Administration criticized Valiant Pharmaceuticals for the way they were making unsubstantiated claims on their website. Now you have to remember that Valiant Pharmaceuticals is the company that's under investigation for raising the prices so terribly of medicines that they just purchase. They're under investigation by the SEC investigation by the Senate, investigation by attorneys general and federal prosecutors. Well, the LA Times did an article in March of last year, 2015, and what they did was they reviewed a story of a gentleman who purchased the Zovirax topically in Canada several years previously, paid about $35 cash. It was over the counter, actually. Then that person went to his doctor in Los Angeles at Kaiser, got a prescription for the medicine, paid $95 as his co-payment, and was shocked to find that additionally, the EOB showed that Kaiser had to pay more than $2,500 for a tube of Zovirax ointment. Remember, Zovirax ointment, it doesn't work very well. So, the LA Times investigated and they called the Valiant Pharmaceuticals, spoke to someone at the company, uh, Lori Little, and she said, well, you have to realize that we have the cost of the active, inactive ingredients, the manufacturing, the packaging, the distribution, and some other expenses, all 
hokum as far as the horrible increase in price over the recent period of time, you also have to realize that you can purchase an active pill, the acyclovir, that's the generic Zovirax, you can get the pill version, you can get 400 milligrams, you get 60 pills for about $4. On the other hand, the ointment is going to cost well in excess of $1,000. Now they also make a combination of the 5% Zovirax cream combined with the 1% over-the-counter hydrocortisone cream, put that all together in a prescription package, and the price again is over $1,000. So the bottom line is, if you happen to develop recurrent herpes, should you go out and get a prescription for Zovirax ointment? Well, no, actually there's no study that shows that it really is beneficial to do that. What you ought to do is consider, if you want to do something, consider taking the pill. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Ken Landau.